Brown is a geotechnical construction materials testing and environmental firm. Uh, more recently, we, uh, we started a survey group here and uh, we provide services for um, really across all sectors. I was graduating from college and didn't really know, wasn't sure what I was wanting to do. And uh, um, I was just kind of visiting with my dad a few months before we graduated, where I graduated and uh, not sure what I wanted to do. And so he had just mentioned several things and and uh, had, was interested about if I'd heard about some uh, testing and tank testing and I hadn't heard anything about it and he had Heard that was going to be a new industry kind of being born out of the regulations. And so I did the research. We bought equipment and uh, we started testing underground storage tanks in, you know, 1980, 1989. And, um, and that really kind of got us the foot in the door of how we started doing environmental work. And then um, and we had that for, you know, eight to ten years and then when and then we uh when we met when i met up with ronnie in 1966 after i'd have been with southwestern laboratories towards only a short period of time i was racing cars and we had uh raced and i went out to riverside california and i was racing a factory alpha when i went out uh, fortunately uh, the DD on rear end broke and I hit a wall doing about 150 miles an hour going backwards and it destroyed the car and me. After working uh, and surviving the car wreck and once I was back on my feet and learned to walk again, uh, I started right back where I was in geotechnical engineering. When I came back then, I told Roberta, I said, Southwestern Laboratories is in a big turmoil and the fact that Houston office and the Dallas office is in a war between each other. And I think that what's gonna happen is Houston will win because all they're hiring is engineers that are Aggies. And I'm a Texas Tech guy, I'm Warren Lacey is a Texas Tech guy. We're gonna lose. And, uh, and so I said, plus the fact that <clears throat> it, the, there's a need for more geotechnical engineers and let's start our own company. And Roberta and I are starting Roan Engineers, and we started on our, in our home uh, on Circle Lane in Bedford, Texas in 1972, April the 1st, 1972. My job, the culture of the company was kind of, we worked together on that, but uh, Ronnie wanted it to be a family uh, atmosphere, and so that's what we, uh, attempted to do. In other words, we, the employees were important to us and uh, our clients were important to us. I started out uh, after school and uh, working for oil companies and stuff like this. A stint in the U.S. Army. Uh, then after that, uh, uh, working for other companies and the energy business. Opportunity came along to uh, start my own business and uh, we had a, an engineering business and I had a manufacturing business. Then an uh, opportunity came along with uh, the environmental stuff and fuel storage tanks. We got to testing uh, fuel storage tanks and keeping an eye out for opportunities to expand. And uh, Richard found that, um, we heard that uh, Roan Engineers was, uh, he was, they were gonna sell out and retire. And it kind of fit in with what 
we were doing. And uh, Richard uh, started negotiating with them. We started uh, that. Uh, met Ronnie and we started talking and uh, I wasn't, I don't know if I believed at the time that, that something was going to happen or, and so we, we really kind of, it kind of died down for um, about a year almost. I don't know if I talked to him for six months to a year and Ronnie called me back and, and we, we started talking again and for whatever reason in that time it, it just, uh, some things clicked for us and it just, we got, it just, it felt right. And uh, I met a guy that, um, uh, a guy named Jack Sadden who has helped me subsequently buy a number of firms. And, uh, and Jack kind of held my hand through the first one and, and uh, was a mediator between me and Ronnie and was, uh, was really instrumental in helping uh, get this deal done with Ronnie and purchasing her own and uh, was a great uh, a great person just to be in between who cared about uh, me and cared about you know got to know Ronnie and and liked Ronnie and so it was really a, a, a great fit of us three coming together and working together to uh, get it done. Mark and Larry are, have been great you know it, you know we bought grown just a few months before and, and at the end of November of 98 and uh, we were looking for some uh, some key people that we knew we needed to add and um, uh, all when all of a sudden we uh, we got a call from uh, one of our guys that and Larry had called Larry Brecken had called and uh, um, I, was, I remember the day that uh, Larry, uh, Ronnie wanted to meet with Larry and uh, he came back and said, Richard, I've been looking for a guy like this for 20 years. And he goes, I've never been able to find him. And he, and, uh, he wanted to, he wanted to, he just thought that be a, he'd be a great fit and someone that could really help our company. And, um, and so um, Ronnie was just a was a big encourager of Larry and wanted to, you know, thought it would be a great idea. And so, you know, it was my first few months on the job and, and was just kind of learning, you know, what it was all about. And so I kind of leaned on him. And, and uh, of course, you know, 23, 24 years later, Larry's been, been is with us and became a partner and is just a big part of the organization. So it was just, uh, it was, a, it was a, a great thing to happen to us just right after we, uh, had purchased Rome. Um, with Mark, um, I think Mark was just with the, within six months or a year later than that. And uh, so we had just in a short period of time, our, you know, we ended up having two of the key guys, uh, you know, my two, two key guys that came in and, and, and met Mark. And, um, and so he would, he had been, uh, out of, I think down in San Antonio working and and uh, was interested in coming back to Dallas and so we were able to work uh, work it out and him to come on board and and so yeah so he's been here for us for 23, 24 years and and uh, you know you've gotten to you've gotten to know each other like like brothers a lot but it, you know that's kind of how we met Larry and Mark and start our journey together. So I'm one of the partners and have been in, in the role of managing the geotechnical operations and environmental operations is how I started. Um, at this point I kind of have oversight and really am more actively involved with probably day-to-day -day client relations and less day-to-day -day on geotechnical and environmental as there's key leaders and positions that run with that at this point. One of the things that I'm probably the proudest of, I think, is you know, Ronnie Rohn started the company, um, handed it over to us in the you know, late 90s, right as we were approaching the 2000s, and you know, he had it about 26, 27 years. And when he walked away from the company, it had a good reputation in the local marketplace. And I think I'm really proud of the fact that we've kept his name and, and that, that reputation and if anything, it was a tremendous foundation that we've built on and added to since then. 
and I've had, uh, you know, so I take a lot of pride in the fact that it's not just me, but that the everybody here at Ron has honored Ronnie's name and his efforts and, and carried it forward and reached this milestone. If I've got 40 years of experience, obviously the number of years I've got left to contribute to, to Roan's success are numbered, and, you know, they're fewer than they were. Um, so I, I look forward to those that I'm able to pass the torch to, to continue to build on what we've done. And that I'm hoping that, you know, if they put together a video at 75th year anniversary, that, that somebody feels the way I do, that they took what was there and, and really built on it and did something more with it. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not looking for a plaque in my name or our name or anything like that. I just want to, I want to know that it wasn't all wasted time and effort. You know, when I finally do hang up my spurs that, that, uh, you know, that it's, I feel like it was a job well done and that it's been handed off to capable hands and, and, uh, and look forward to what those next years can bring. I'm Ken Newman with Holt Lunsford Commercial, and I've been with Holt for 16 years, and I'm over all of construction, uh, ground up construction, tenant development, uh, tenant improvement work, capital projects, everything funnels through me, and uh, I stay pretty busy and with all that. Uh, like I was, was sharing with you, we, uh, we will celebrate our 30th anniversary this next year, and we currently lease and manage about 90 million square feet, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Houston. Beginning to have some, uh, we're pursuing some land opportunities in Austin, San Marcos, in that area in San Antonio, because we think there's a, another market there, uh, but that's down the road a little bit, and so we're beginning to take those steps toward that. So, but great company, <clears throat> uh, primarily, you know, Really, it's, it's a leasing company, it's a development company, and what comes with that, obviously, is a huge property management machine, and uh, that's the 90 million square feet that we manage, and so, yeah, that's, that's huge, so, yeah. So, that's, I, I saw your question, and I, I thought, this is great, because, obviously, when you get to be seasoned, age-wise, uh, you've been around a while, right? And so, I, I, I begin to look back and, and, and think when I first met Mark, and uh, my relationship is with Mark, and uh, Mark to me is Roan. And so I, I go back, I think 25 years was the first time I met Mark and did our first project with Mark, not with Holt, obviously. I grew up on the general contracting side of the business. And uh, I think uh, it's, I, cause I've been here 16, so I'm thinking 20 to 25 years ago was my first encounter with Roan. And uh, moving forward from really from that day forward, uh, Mark and I have become friends, and that's that's crucial for me. Uh, the guy, and when we have our our, our, our preferred vendors, uh, I, I can name them. Empire Roofing is a preferred vendor because Matt Kelly is a friend of mine. Uh, Roan Engineering is a preferred vendor because Mark is a friend of mine. So, you know, they say you want to do business with people that you like and, and we do business, we, we use no other geotech or CMT services unless we're forced to buy an ownership or something like that, which has happened. But uh, I'd say 95 out of 100 projects that I've done at Holt and prior uh, was with Road Engineering. And so it's a great relationship. Uh, it's a friendly relationship. And, and, and I can tell you how it typically starts from our standpoint is, as you guys know, and as the business is telling you right now, we're very active out there. We're finding dirt. We're trying to develop buildings because that's where the money's at right now. Uh, that's where the market is right now. And so we're, we're, we're happily engaged in that spigot of work, okay? And so <clears throat> uh, our, our land guys will go find a piece of dirt and the first we do, there's about two or three pieces that happen first. One is we lay it out on a, on a block plan on a piece of paper. The second thing we do is we call Mark. And we usually set up, you know, the drilling services to go do the, the beginning of the geotech. But the, the, third, the third piece of that with Mark is, have you developed dirt in the area? Because at this point, we don't own anything, we've made no investment. We just need to know 
so we can send this to our, our contractors and say, hey, give us a budget. Well, in order to give us a budget, you know, the devil's in the dirt. Well, we need to know what's in the dirt, right? And so, hey, Mark, have you done something nearby? And Mark will respond back and say, we did the three sites that are adjacent to you. Here's a snapshot of what you're looking for. That's how our business, for my, that's how it starts. And so uh, having the relationship with Mark, that it's a simple email, hey, have you done business here? Tell me what we need to do. And he sends back three sentences, boom. That's the beginning of every deal we have. And so, of course, that morphs into uh, we, we develop budgets, we get approval, we buy the land, we get the funding. And then at that point, you guys have gone out and performed the geotech. And then we start the construction process. So it starts early with, with you guys. So that I think the point to that is you guys are vital to our success. There's no question. And that's because of the relationship that I have with Mark. Awesome. So, amazing. Um, <clears throat> I didn't, is he going to hear this, by the way? Uh, I don't want him to hear any of those. <laughs> okay. I'll play it over and over and over. Right. He will. He'll have it on, on a repeat, <laughs> right? Yeah. Office, just, you can cut that piece. <laughs> just not <laughs> you know, there's been a, a, so many people that have made an impact on Roan and the company and the people here, but you know, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't start with probably kind of the heart and soul of the company is, is kind of is Fanny Burrow. Uh, she's been with us for 24 years and, um, you know, runs the company better than I don't even pretend that I don't ride run the company because she, she certainly runs the company. And, um, but uh, I get in the way a lot, but uh, she lets me think that I still do sometimes. Um, she's a, she's kind of our company uh, psychologist. Uh, she's the, um, you know, she's the rock that keeps it all together a lot. And uh, so she's been a uh, extremely important part of, of the company and, um, and, uh, has really made this um, a big difference um, in, in what uh, us being able to grow. Her experience in running multiple offices have been has been great. So um, uh, she, she's taught me a lot and and how to do that. So uh, she's made a huge impact on on the growth and direction of Roan. I started with Roan in May of 1998, so that puts me here going on 24 years. I started out as an environmental admin, and I worked my way up to being the office manager. I oversee all of the admin. I make sure the work gets out the door to all of our clients, and I feel that our clients are internal and external. In the last, over the last 24 years that I've been here, I've seen Roan grow from a small engineering company into a large engineering company based on the growth of the people, growth of our clients, the growth of the projects that we do. My favorite part would be the people, the employees that we have here. I feel that we are a very close net family and we would be supportive of anybody if it's business wise or personal wise. My current role with the company is the Chief Financial Officer. Um, I started in 19, December of 1999. And uh, how that came to pass was I was uh, changing jobs and the outside CPA firm uh, partner uh, was the partner at the company I was at. He told me that Roan had a position and they were interviewing and asked me if I wanted to come talk to the company. Uh, it was wonderful. I mean, at this point in time, I, I think of how the company was when we, when I first joined, and you see the organization now, uh, in the accounting industry, most accountants, the average accounting person stays with the company about five years. And this is my 23rd year with the company, and I, I think that says a lot about the company. Uh, you see instances and you hear about instances where a company has grown and it's done that, but when a company reaches 
the kind of maturity we had, the kind of stability, and they employ the kind of talent that we have now. And there's just numerous individuals. Uh, you want to stay. You want to be a part of that because it, it's just something unique. It's like having a wonderful family. My name is Scott Watson, and I've been with Roan for going on 23 years come November of this year. And I am one of the senior managers in the CMT group over the uh, project management staff for CMT. I tell you, uh, seeing the growth of Roan Engineering since I started in November of 1999 has been amazing. Uh, when, when we started here, there was, we had basically this office and uh, we, we still had our office over off of Sylvania, uh, which was the, uh, the building that Ronnie Roan uh, was uh, originally officing out of uh, with our Fort Worth group. And seeing where we were at that point in time and to see where we've come to be uh, in the year 2022, we've, you know, gotten ourselves, you know, where our foothold in the market in DFW has grown substantially and we have been able to branch out into several other markets uh, within the state of Texas and now it's getting to be so exciting because now we're even starting to think about branching out outside of the state of Texas. So the, the growth is, it, 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 it's, it's been an amazing ride. It really has to see, to see it and it's exciting. So I think my favorite thing about Roan is the, the family environment. I mean, let's, let's face it, we all spend a lot of hours you know, at work, we, you know, we, we spend a lot of time with, 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 with our team. Uh, and just the way that, that we all interact with each other, it's not, you know, your, your normal, you know, just coworkers, either oh, just a coworker, you know. It's a family environment, it really is. I mean, we, you know, we take care of each other. You know, you, you see over the years, you know, whether, you know, we've, you know, we've, cried, bled, sweat, and everything else with each other. And so, you know, it's, it's really an extended family of, of, you know, of what you have at home. I mean, this is your home away from home. And, uh, and I think that's, to me, that has been the largest factor in the fact that I've been here for, you know, 22 years is this is my family. You know, I, you know, I'm like a, like I could leave my family hanging. I'm, I'm going to stick with them, and uh, and and that's that's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah, I'm Nick Somerville. I'm the managing partner and co-founder of Kaizen Development Partners. We're a Dallas-based real estate developer, and we specialize in Class A office buildings and mixed-use projects. I've had the privilege of working with Roan for uh, 12 to 15 years now. In fact, they're one of the only names in my Rolodex. Um, from the start of a project, when we identify a property and we need some diligence run on, uh, Roan's the first call I, I make for either phase one ESAs or geotechnical investigations. And then as those projects come to fruition, we roll into construction materials and testing. The experience with Roan has been fantastic. And my litmus test is, while Roan is somebody that we hire and hold the contract with, after we sign the contract, we really tell them to go play nice with the contractor uh, and the design team. And I measure the experience by, you know, how much the design team or the contractor is calling me and talking about issues. And it's, I never have those issues. It's always a, a seamless process where the two are fused together and you guys do what you said you're going to do in the agreement. and. I don't get put in the middle of a contract or a design team complaining about the third party consultant who I brought to the party. We've currently just completed the building we're in now, the Lincoln Uptown, which is a 300,000 square foot class AA office building in the heart of Uptown. Uh, in addition to this, we're under construction with a class A office building in McKinney right now, uh, known as District 121. It's at the corner of 121 in Alma, and Roan has done the Phase one ESA for us, the geotech, and is currently doing the construction materials testing. 
Well, first, I'd like to say kudos. 50 years is a great accomplish accomplishment by any standard, but uh, really admire the vision of the founders and the leadership that has taken it over and encourage you guys to push forward, keep up the great work, and go another 50 years. And we're, uh, we're several years behind you, but we aspire to get there one day. Well, I've been with Roan since 1996. And I came over from a large nationwide type company and started work as a project manager in the environmental department. That led to a program director position when Roan was awarded uh, three consecutive state league contracts with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. After that, I became Roan's environmental department manager for a number of years, and then more recently, technical director of Roan's environmental services. I think one of my favorite memories was a Christmas party we had a few years back. We had a DJ and everybody was getting up and dancing by themselves. I mean, it seemed like you might be by yourself, but everybody was up dancing and we were just having a great time. And then the other memory I have is Roan had a function at a bowling alley and I won the door prize. I won like a 74 inch TV. It was so big, I couldn't get it in my car. So I had to borrow a Roan Company vehicle to get it home. My name is David Wilcher, and uh, I'm the manager of the Structural Steel Department for Roan Engineers. Uh, I've been here for 22 years. This will be my 22nd year. And I manage my team. We go out and do uh, quality control. Uh, inspections to make sure that the building is going up in the structural steel way like it's supposed to. There's very few construction companies that have been in business and stayed in business continually. They come and they go, but this company has a staying ability and they treat their, uh, their, their employees felt well and that's what keeps them going. And they're, the people that run the company are very family oriented and very, uh, all of us here, you know, look at each other like brothers and sisters. We try to take care of each other. I would say congratulations to all the uh, partners and all the uh, employees. It's very, you're very, we're all very lucky to work for this company. And uh, you know, it's a great opportunity, you know, with the training and the teaching, and I'm glad I'm a part of it. And uh, in August of 2012, I had been laid off, so I had signed up with a temp agency. And within that next week, I got a call from Braun for an interview, for a temporary assignment. And that's where I came, that's where it all started at. I've been working at Braun would be ten, nine years as of now, but my 10th year would be November of 2022. My position at Braun is the uh, CMT, uh, Construction Material Testing Admin Assistant. And some of my duties, my major duties are, I um, enter all the lab results in for like density, for example, density reports, concrete reports. I have a variety of jobs to keep me real busy. When I came in, I, like I said, I came in as a temp and when Fanny called me, I had worked a couple of weeks and uh, she called me back uh, and she told me, she said, um, I'm gonna offer you a job. And I said, wow, and I accepted it. But before prior to all of that, when I came in the day, I actually started to work. I uh, forgot my glasses. So I had to go back home and get my glasses, which I stayed less than 20 minutes from Rome. My role with Rome Engineering, I'm the uh, education manager. Um, I also do some of the quality control uh, stuff as far as keeping up with files and and uh, uh, keeping up with technician certifications. Um, as an education manager, I train the technicians. We bring in new guys. Uh, I train them, show them the ropes and uh, uh, get them ready to prepare so they can be out in the field and, uh, you know, kind of have that guiding uh, figure for them to uh, to succeed in this industry. Um, started with Roan in 2008, so I've been here for nearly 14 years now. All right, so with Roan, uh, 
The way I've seen the changes around here is we're growing as a company. You know, when I was dispatching back in 2013, I think I had, I was dispatching maybe 15 technicians, you know, well, here we are nearly 10 years later and out of our Dallas office alone, we have roughly 80 technicians. Um, I've seen other offices continue to grow as our Houston offices, our Austin office, our Fort Worth office has really taken on its own and uh, we're just growing so much as a company. and. The changes that we I see with the company is is seeing the growth, putting the pieces in place, and see it all kind of come together. Um, and not only that, but the fact that we've spent more time with training guys properly. Whereas, you know, when I started in 2008, we didn't have any kind of training program. It was here. Here's how to do the tests. Now you can do it. You know. And and since we're growing as a company, it, it's I've seen the the education part of it expand which allows our technicians to grow with the company and be competent as well. Uh, my name is Jason Lewis. Um, I've been working at Rome for about two and a half years now. Um, initially started uh, applying for a job as an assistant sales rep with um, Ann, our sales manager. Um, she took a liking to me and when I sat down for my second interview with Richard Lee, um, he thought that I'd be a great fit within the company, but in a different capacity. And so he asked me to work directly with him to do some research projects, um, also to help to try to uh, build and develop the culture here within our company. And from that, the positions just kind of evolved into doing a little bit of branding, a little bit of marketing, um, doing some HR to some capacity, you know, helping our uh, various departments with hiring and so it's an ever-evolving position but it's definitely one that I, I, I really take pride in and enjoy a lot. I would like to say to Rome and to um, all the company partners uh, and everyone who helps to make this organization run, um, congratulations to you all. Uh, keep up the hard work. Um, there's a long road ahead and uh, uh, my prayer is that, you know, we continue to move forward, we continue to strive for excellence, um, continue to achieve great things, and uh, never quit and continue to grind. Congratulations to Roan on 50 years of business. Congratulations to Roan on 50 years of wonderful growth. Congratulations to Roan on 50 years of business. Keep up the good work. Congratulations to Rome for 50 years in business. Uh, the Lord willing, uh, I hope to get to see some more years of growth in, in Rome Engineering. I have confidence in the, the people that are here and they'll be coming to work here. And uh, you just, uh, uh, I think a lot of them and uh, interested in them. Uh, as, as their families. Uh, it's uh, it's a pleasure to be associated with them. Well, first of all, just the fact that how exciting it is to for road engineers to have made it for 50 years. There's less than one percent of companies make it. That means for every hundred, there's 99 of them fail, and uh, just. That alone is just incredible. Uh, and for y'all to be sitting here uh, interviewing Roberta and I at me nearly 88 years old, the founder of Road Engineers, is even statistically impossible, okay? So uh, the legacy is that uh, don't ever, ever give up uh, whatever your dream is and what your, you know, your, your goals are. and. And for God's sake, if you really want to accomplish anything in life, write out your goals. I mean, uh, don't say them or put them on a computer. I'm talking about physically write them. Just think about the legacy of, of uh, the, for 50 years, the generations of how the free enterprise system has provided jobs for people and uh, and, and the satisfaction of being able to work and have a job versus uh, just sitting with your hand uh, out and trying to get something from the government free 
is very rewarding to me. That's how you reward people. We created jobs and, uh, and we're proud of that and the legacy should continue uh, with uh, Richard's, uh, the way that his personality is and I uh, wish him the best and in the future of Ron Engineers, I wish them the best. I, I think that, uh, you know, in, in closing for me is that, you know, it, it, I think we, uh, we, he left it in good hands with us and we've been able to take it and, um, and make it better. And, and not, not to say that what he had wasn't great. Um, it's just, I think that, you know, we've been able to take it and redefine it and, and um, cr continue to hire really good people in that, that, are, that care about what they're doing. And um, uh, it's just exciting to, to see what the next, you know, chapter holds for us.